Hi, I'm Don Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com. I'm very excited. Today, we're going to take a look at substance from output. Now, to be honest, I wasn't all that excited when I heard about substance, the dedicated bass instrument from output. I thought this was a tool created for dance music producers or DJs, and boy, was I wrong. I spent quite a bit of time the last week or so using Substance in some projects and really started to see the benefits of this bass engine. Substance sells for $199. There are some cross grade available uh, for $179. Now we got our copy from Plug In Boutique. They have a great loyalty program there where you can earn virtual cash with each purchase. Be sure and use the links in the description below. Or if you want to read more about the instrument, we'll have a link to the full written review, demos, and more. A Substance is a contact player instrument. It's compatible with both the full and free version of contact loads right into your libraries tab. It downloads as five gigabytes and contains 300 presets. Now the presets alone are fantastic. I discovered some wonderful deep tones that range from the kind of sub rumblers I expect to even more sculpted low end with edge and definition. I'm confident I'll get a lot of use out of these 300 presets, although you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you don't dig in and take some time to learn about the interface and how to sculpt and create your own bass tones. The substance is housed in Output's new three-layer engine with a slick-looking interface. The library samples can be loaded into each of these three layers. And they're clearly organized into nine different categories. The library comes with assignable effects for each of the independent layers. And as you can see throughout all of the editing here, everything is color coded. So easy to work with these layers. Now the library comes with an ARP and a rhythm tool. Including pattern presets, randomization, reverse, and lots of customization. Now the front of the interface has these four different, what they call a macros. And these are really cool. You can assign different kinds of uh, filters and LFOs to each of them, distortion and effects. Uh, you gotta do a little digging to figure out exactly what this is doing and how you can manipulate it, but it's well worth the time to spend to learn about the macros in the engine. Now the pros for Substance are many. It's got a great set of presets and both the presets and the samples are very well organized with a huge range of bass timbres. Uh, the very powerful with its effects, the arps, the macros, and that uh, rhythm feature, you can get a lot of morphing and manipulation so that the sounds kind of morph and develop as it goes along. Now, 
The cons really, it just kind of boils down to that uh, this is a bass instrument only. It sells for about $199. That might be a little out of some people's price range. The other thing that I think is important to note is that these macros, there is a little bit of a learning curve to kind of wrap your head around what it's doing, how it's doing it, and how you can manipulate it yourself. That said, it is well worth the time to learn about adjusting these so you can customize and really sculpt some movement into your bass sound. You know, I think Substance is going to be uh, very useful for modern producers working on everything from electronic music to orchestral hybrid and trailer tracks. I know for myself, it's difficult to get that massive low end in a hybrid track without layering mud into the mix. And Substance seems to do just the trick. Flipping through many of the presets for a track I was working on for a trailer cue, I was inspired and it really added so much beef. Uh, if you're interested in the aspiring trailer composer course that I'm currently auditing for a review, I'm doing a live journal. I'll be using substance on some of those tracks I create in the assignments. Check the link in the description below if you want more information on substance. If you'd like to pick it up from Plugin Boutique, if you'd like to read our full written review, or check out some information about the aspiring trailer composer course that I mentioned.